Now a lot of times you might have faced a difficulty of understanding the codes written by other people. Maybe you join a new company and you want to understand the code base written as fast as possible. Now it gets really difficult if you are just trying to contribute to a GitHub project. You just want to focus on one aspect but without understanding the whole context of the project it's really difficult. So this video we are going to use AI to turn our code bases into easy tutorials now this is not my project it is a project from the pocket and the name of this repo is pocket flow tutorial code base knowledge now using this what you can do is pretty interesting for example you have might have heard of all these technologies for example flask uh, fast api let's say you don't know what fast api is and you really want to grasp what fast api is as fast as possible in just say five minutes you can go through the documentation but it's very difficult you can go through the code or the the code base but it's really difficult to understand how about you get this diagram you know showing the different classes and different relations and you can see the flow of the code it's pretty easy to understand for example crew ai you are given for the first time what crew ai is and just by looking at this diagram you can see that crew uh, has processes it has memory it has agents agent uses a uh, brain as llm and query to knowledge it uses tools it's pretty sleek and it's pretty easy to understand now all these things is not made by any any person it is done by this repo by the codes that you have on this repo so we are going to test this out in our own github uh, projects and see uh, let's take any github project that you like and we are going to pass it through this code and it will spit out different chapters to help us understand everything okay now all these different chapters you can see these all has been made by this github repo so let's go ahead and use this now for using this we need to clone the repo first so we go to clone the repo now i have already cloned the repo here so this is the repo here and inside the repo now i can go to uh, cmd and then i can say code space dot enter this will open up my code editor which is cursor in this case so we are inside cursor i'm gonna uh, start up with a new environment uh, i already have an environment so i'm going to check the list of environments uh, conda info dash dash envs now let's check the environment so i think uh, this uh, this is the environment code base so i'm going to say conda activate uh, code base and this will activate my environment and i'm inside the environment now so the first thing that we need to do is uh, we need to put the API key here. So this Gemini API key, we need to put a Gemini API key. Now you can get the API key from uh, this. So you can go to Gemini API key on Google. And once we go to Google, uh, you can click on the first link, uh, Google AI for developers. You go to get a Gemini API key. And then click on get an API key, create API key and then select the project and create api key in the existing project once it is created you can copy this and you can go ahead and go back to codebase and uh, paste it here okay uh, having done that uh, the next thing that we need to do is to install all the requirements so i'm going to say pip install dash r txt so these are all the requirements as you can see we have just a few few requirements and all these installations are done next uh, what we need to do is go to this call llm.py inside of utils and here we need to uh, comment this out and make this client as uh, a gemini client so we're going to use gemini api key and as a matter of fact i'm going to copy this api key and paste it here as well and now we're going to test this llm first so in order to test this llm we can just copy this relative path and i can say python and run this so if it's a success then what we would have is 
uh, some things pretty good okay the internet was down also let me uh, go back and do this again so this uh, we're gonna run this Python utils call llm.py and it's trying to make a call if the LLM connection is a success then we should see some positive things here okay so we see that we have a response here that means the LLM is working now what we need to do is get to work so uh, how do we run this uh, running this is pretty simple as you can see here what you can do is that we can say python main.py so this is the code that runs the main file so this is a main.py file and inside there you can give the name of the repo here and then include these things so let me go to a repo of mine and uh, let me go to my github repo and try to understand uh, one of the projects here uh, let me go to let's say this memgpt autogen llm this is a very old uh, project so we are going to use this so in order to use this what we need to do is go here and what we need to do is python main.py dash dash repo and now give the name of the repo so this is the link of the repo once you give the link of the repo the next thing that you need to do is to include these so include dot pi and exclude this test and the maximum size is 50k so we need to put these things as well okay so we included dot pi uh, dot js exclude tests and max size is 50,000 so once you have that now you can run this so once you run this this is going to crawl through the uh, through my github repo and try to understand get a feel of what that project is and give me uh, in particular chapters uh, explaining everything that the code has to offer now i have already run this on one of my uh, repositories known as uh, this is a bitcoin this is an auto trading strategy this was the repo that i've already tested on so auto trader now if you really want to understand uh, trading and wallet management you can see trading signals margin management so all this it's pretty difficult to understand and as a matter of fact uh, you know you're trying to read my codes which is a little bit difficult uh, the syntax or the way of articulation may not be familiar to you and i might use a completely different um, you know way of explaining things so what you can do that is that if you pass it through this code then this code is going to give you some output so you can see this output i've already uh, prepared this uh, for that repo so you can see that uh, this is the one uh, this is the output that we got so you can see this is the pdfs file i've already made uh, some pdf file so you can if you go to the pdf output directly then you can see this pretty good so output auto trader and here you can see uh, this is the index and you can see that this is the index this project is an automated cryptocurrency trading bot and you can see this particular style is it's pretty sweet and it's and it looks pretty good to see so the first step chapter one is api authentication then we have chapter two is account information wallet and margin and then we have the open position then we have the order execution and then we have the signal generation and you know explanation of all these things it's pretty simple it's pretty good then you can see this position management and it's amazing okay if you want to see the other examples that this uh, code uh, has already saved here uh, i mean the author has already saved some of the demos here so you can see that this is the docs for codex for dspy so let's look at dspy right click and what you can do is right click and open preview you can see that this is chapter one and you can see that index.md uh, right click and if you say open preview you can see that this is the flowchart of this dspy so these are all these examples let's wait for my chapters to complete and then we are going to see the output and then output will be available here in this folder so as you can see here this is output an auto trader and this will be a new tutorial it's creating for me uh, i will just skip this part wait for it and get back to you in a second
so this is complete so you can see that we have completed the chapter one writing chapter two till chapter seven and this is uh, writing the outputs to this folder memgpt autogen llm and tutorial generation complete and this is your file on the outputs you can see a new folder has been created in the name of uh, memgpt autogen llm and if i close everything let me make some space here so this first one is uh, you can go to index and just preview the index so you can see that this project combines the autogen framework which allows multiple ai agents to collaborate on task and you can see this index uh, and you can go ahead and look at the first uh, chapter so i'm going to right click and click on open preview so this is the first chapter llm configuration what is llm configuration you get the codes the explanation is pretty easy to understand next is chapter 2 autogen framework open preview so this is the auto generation framework auto gen framework and next we have this mem gpt framework we can see that this is the md file and it's pretty good we have the autogen user proxy mem gpt mem gpt agent configuration and chat initialization so we have all these in pretty simple terms basically all the explanation you can i mean you can publish this as a book so for example if you're trying to create a book for for example amazon uh, publishing you know you want to publish on amazon so you can create a book like this given any inputs of a repo you can create a book if you want to let's say publish it on any websites or you want to make a website of of any discussion of any repo you can use this tool to create very easily and publish that on your website it's pretty amazing to see such tools being created by independent uh, people and this is basically it's based on a pocket so pocket is again an llm framework that i would need another video to talk about now this is an amazing thing so pocket flow it just has 100 lines of llm framework and it's able to spit out so many different codes the code uh, that we are looking at is this just one of the many pieces that we have so code based knowledge builder we have built cursor with cursor as well youtube summarizer and you can see that there are so many different projects that you can build with pocket flow basically this is a framework uh, a system of thinking of how the model should approach while creating uh, an agent so this is just like any other frameworks for example we have crew ai we have agno ai there are different frameworks or different style of creating your agents and this is one of that but this is an amazing one and i really loved it so in the next video i'm going to talk about the pocket itself but in this video i hope i was able to convince you to just try and use uh, the code base knowledge builder it's amazing it's open source and you can use it at any time to convert difficult github repos into easy and digestible uh, lessons so that it's easy and you can grasp the essence of that code base in an instance in just five minutes okay so see you in the next video and uh, i hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel and i will see you on this next one